Hello, my crafty friends. Um, you don't see vlogs from me very often. <laughs> and the other ones that I did at the very beginning of this year, or at, um, there was one other one sometime, but um, in those vlogs I had brown hair because I used to dye my hair, but now I've got this kind of glow. It's It's really bright and I'm sorry that you have to look at that. I'm trying to get rid of the hair coloring. So now what's left kind of looks blonde. Sorry. Um, uh, one of my goals for 2019 is to get all of this hair color gone and just be me. I've been, um, I'm being authentic tonight. <laughs> That's another reason for going ahead and doing this vlog in my very messy studio is so that you can see the real me. <laughs> I wish I had a closet like Jerry Bellini because she had her nice vlog in this nice closet and everything was neatly stacked behind her. I wish I had that, but I don't. Um, this uh, this video, though, is my, um, my thank you to her, for one thing, uh, for inspiring me to finally be able to get my word for the year. I've been struggling for days trying to come up with my word for the year 2019. And uh, the last two years, it was real easy to come up with my word, but this year has been harder. So, um, but when she told me how she did it, I watched her video just a little bit ago, how I chose my word for 2019. Um, I'm going to link that in the description box below. So you can go watch it. If you haven't watched that video, you need to. If you're struggling with trying to find your word for the year, that's the video to watch. I'm going to tell you a little bit about how she talked about doing it, but, um, but she said in 15 minutes, she found her word. And I thought, yeah, right. <laughs> Maybe Jerry, but not Lisa. But she was right. In 15 minutes, I had my mind map. I have my word for the year paper. I have my definitions. And in 15 minutes, I had my word. Um, and I had been having a word floating around in my head for several days, but it wasn't quite right. And that word was enough. Um. And there were a lot of reasons why I had that kind of in my head, but I just didn't think it was quite right. One is that I want to um, be an example to my kids that um, there is such a thing as enough. <laughs> and you wouldn't know it looking at my studio because it seems like all I do is uh, go to thrift stores and buy more stuff. And, um, and I don't feel quite like a hoarder yet, but I'm really close. And so... Um, I, I want to stop that. Another one of my goals for 2019 is to um, to use the stuff in my studio, not go buy new stuff, um, and to organize what's in here so I can use it easier. That's another one of my goals. Um, I have a goal to um, to start studying my Bible more, and I have a goal to to weave and spin more because I have a lot of that stuff collected too. And I enjoyed it, but now it's hard to get to. I don't know if you can see this, but right there behind that tablecloth, that's my loom. And I haven't uh, woven on it in a couple of years because I started doing this paper crafting stuff and it took over my studio. And so all my weaving and spinning stuff's kind of stacked in the corners and under the tables. And, um, and I really want to get that out and use it. So I've got to find a way to make my paper crafting stuff accessible and my weaving and spinning stuff accessible, which means I'm probably going to have to get rid of some stuff. I'm going to have to figure out the things I love and the stuff I'm just keeping because I, I'm afraid I might need it if I get rid of it. <laughs> I need to go ahead and get rid of that stuff. Um, Another one of my goals was to um, do a poem collaboration with my daughter, Hannah. She's written a poem that I really love. And she had an idea that we could each do an art journal. And um, we would take one line of that poem for each page. And then we would um, do an art journal page about that one line. So it was it's a 40 40 line poem so it would be a 40 page journal and I'm excited about that so I'm going to work on that with her um I want to finish all these journals I've started I've got altered books glue books um many art just art journals of all kinds 
And then I've got the Bentley Girls Journal that I've just started. Um, the videos I've done on it so far are called um, December Challenge. But I finished the challenge. Now I'm going to use the book, and I'm calling it the Bentley Girls Journal. Now, I want to continue working on the Totally Junk junk journal with Tanya and um, I want to do glue books I want to do all the things that I've got started I want to finish them that's one of my goals I want to continue to do more um, more videos process videos um, and um, because I enjoy that and I want to share just share the joy <laughs> see what else do I have down here I want to start journaling my memories and my thoughts um, for the future enjoyment of my children because I won't always be here and um, I won't be here for them to ask, well, what did you ever, however, what do you think, you know, so I want to start doing that. Um, I've, I haven't done it before. I've started a couple of times writing letters to them when they were really young and that lasted about a week. Um, I just haven't been good at that. That's something I, I want to do better. Anyway, all of these goals, um, I want to, um, yeah, I think that's, that's most of them. Anyway, it doesn't matter if that's not, if I didn't say them all, it doesn't matter. Um, I went and I found some words on this word of the year. Um, I just Googled word of the year. No, I did not. I did not. <laughs> uh, Jerry Bellini had a link. I was going to Google it, but she had a link in uh, under her video, and I went to her, the link that she provided. So uh, go watch her video, go to the link, get the list. And I chose some words. I chose five. No, I chose four. One of them was the word enough, because that was the word that had been going around in my head. One of them was example, because I want to be a better example to my kids. One of them was respect because I want to treat the things and opportunities I have with respect. And one of them was appreciate because I want to show appreciation by using the things, uh, you know, for the things I have by using the things I have. Um, and so I got the definitions for those things and I read them and um, I kept coming back to appreciate to appreciate, to be grateful or thankful for, to value or regard highly, to place an estimate an estimate on, to be fully conscious of, and to be aware of, to detect. Um, that That's the uh, definition for appreciate. And I think it kind of encompasses all the things that I'm wanting to do this year. Um, to be fully conscious, to be more appreciative of the things I have instead of thinking I need to go buy more. Um, so I'm going to find a way to use the stuff I have instead of thinking I need to get new stuff for projects. <laughs> now, I'm not going to say I won't buy anything in 2019. That would be unrealistic because um, I'm going to run out of glue for one thing. And there's not a substitute for glue. You know, you got to have glue. <laughs> so... Um, I'm already down to two glue sticks, so, you know, that's, that's something that you got to, and I've got some, um, some liquid glue, so I'm not out of glue, but you do need, you need glue, um, and there might be some other things that I, that I really need, but I'm not going to just go wander around thrift stores and buy a bunch more books because I have books everywhere. I have lots and lots of books, not just books to read, but books that I've bought to alter or to use the covers of, or the insides of, or whatever. So, um, I can definitely get through a year with what I've got, um, as far as books go. <laughs> but books are the things I like to look for. Anyway, um, that is my word for the year, appreciate. And those are my goals for this year, um, for this year, for next year. It's, it's not quite here yet, almost, but not quite. And um, I'm looking forward to sharing that year with you. And I hope that um, I hope that I'll do things that are worthwhile and that the videos that I share will be things that are worthwhile, that you will enjoy, that will enrich your life. And um, and I hope that you'll um, you'll think about your word for the year and um, make a conscious decision on how you want to live your life in 2019. Um, I think this is a good plan.
I think Jerry did a great job getting me my word of the year in 15 minutes. <laughs> so try it. Go watch her video. And I bet you can, I bet you can get your word of the year real quickly too, if you do. God bless you. Have a wonderful new year. Bye-bye.